One of the most frustrating issues I've had with the wiring has been that after I get all my gauges working, that one light stayed on, the MIL light, and it would not go off. I could disconnect it from the LSPCM, it stayed on. I could disconnect it from the OBS PCM, and it stayed on. Disconnect it from both PCMs, it stayed on. So there was an open circuit somewhere. We needed to find what that problem was. We finally tracked it down. Let me show you how I found it. We were trying to track down the problem with our MIL light being on, and it shouldn't be. I'm looking in the glove compartment, and this is the PCM. There's two connectors. There's an A, B, and a C, D. A and B is on that side, C and D is right here. And this is the A and B. Uh, a number seven is the MIL light wire. If you get in close here, you can see there are the numbers. This is A, and then number seven is vacant because I just pulled it. And that's what this that's what this wire is. It's the tan with black stripe or the brown with black stripe. Uh, the problem we're having is that even with this wire disconnected, the MIL MIL light is showing, or the check engine light is still on. Well, I'm going to find out. You've got another one right here. I do believe this is it. And this is in a different module that uh, comes from the instrument panel and goes to the firewall. And this appears to be an ML, or uh, this appears to be a check engine light as well. So I'm going to pull this one to see if that will uh, remove the open circuit and that's causing that light to stay on. So I'll be back in just a moment. Okay, we're going to turn the ignition into the on position. There's the check engine light. And it goes off. That's the problem. Tracking down any electrical problem can be a real pain in the butt, uh, especially if you don't have a lot of fancy tools. But one of the best tools you can have is a schematic for your truck. I can show you the schematic now and just kind of summarize what we looked at and what we did. So maybe it'll make a little more sense to you if you didn't understand with my pointing under the dash. To take care of the check engine light that was continuously on no matter what, I had to go to page 65 here, 64 to 65. At your PCM, it shows down here at number A, there's an A, B, and a C, D uh, on your PCM, number 419, that is the wire to your MIL light. So I disconnect it from here because I don't want any information or lack of information from this particular PCM to, sh to uh, make my check engine light go off. On the instrument cluster, here's number 419 right here. Now that just shows where the bulb placement is. You're not gonna mess with that light. Uh, this is the instrument panel uh, side of the wiring and you've got a number 419 right here and this is located literally within six inches of the PCM. This is the wire you also need to remove and once I remove that wire I connected another wire to what I pulled out and ran that to my LS PCM and the check engine light works. So I hope that helps you. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. I know it's confusing, but uh, with a manual and just tracking it down, spending a little time, these things can be figured out.